We'll get it going then. Right. Well, I'll uh, say good day then, Mrs. Good day, Mr. Griffith. Seven weeks since our brothers at Khan stents down their tools and began this battle in which we are all engaged. Today we number 5,000, and that is nine tenths of the entire industry! Hooray! You give us the pie and we'll give you the clay! Hold the fort, for we are coming, you, you men. Quiet, boys, quiet! Let's hear what Mr. Benson got to say. The employers have demanded that we keep the engines pumping to protect their property. And until now, we have done this. But no longer. We will not protect their property. Hey! We will not protect the masters, nor their creatures. And by that, I mean those men who are crawling back to work. Betraying their comrades. Ooh. We look with abhorrence, contempt, and disgust at these blacklegs. And we know, we know where they live. We know their height, their weight, and the color of their hair. And we shall not forget. Hey! All the boys are out. Well, remember the black leg traders, the longest day they live! I'm with you, boys, I'm with you, tell with bloody traders! I am here today because there are people to whom I minister week after week who have not got a living wage, while the masters live in comfort and drive about in motor cars. And we do! We hear a lot about the rights of property from the employers. But I say to the bosses, we are not going to respect that property to which you lay claim and which is not your property, but stolen property. God did not create property. God created a garden, a garden which is this earth, our earth, which God gave to all of us so that we might toil in it and live in plenty, that we might prosper, all men, all women, all children, equal under the Lord. Not for the benefit of a handful of greedy men to expropriate and exploit. Men who use their monopolistic powers to exploit the labor of fathers. 
and to condemn the wives and children to slow starvation. Men who rob us of the fruits of the earth, which God gave to all of us. Yes, friends, the master may walk among us as a respected member of our community. But make no mistake about it, that man, that boss, that master is a robber. He robs us all. For what is upon the face of the earth and that which lies beneath the earth belongs to us, to all of us. It is our gift from God. Down with the masters! <laughs> Seems strange. You and me out in the sunshine together, and it not a Sunday. <laughs> Proper gentry we are. Gentry. Gentry means living off the backs of others. 
in an idle existence. Oh, do you be quiet, Manuel. Sorry, man, Mr. Griffith. Hi, watch it! Hello, then! Hello, you! I've got you up in the park, go on! Hello, then! This won't fool the old paydish. Well, fruits of the earth, as the minister said. <laughs> if they berries was worth all the money, burgers would have a fence up round them. And be paying we five pounds an hour to pick them. We were sent for down to wheel dubbers. Local police panicked. Glamorgan sent for to save the situation. That's for you. A threatening situation, I once it wasn't. But when our lads come marching up, the pickets formed up orderly, offered no violence of any kind. You know, between you and me, I wouldn't be surprised if we wasn't asked to take over the policing of the whole area. I've said nothing against the local boys, mind. But it's, it's wonderful the, the impression a well-disciplined body of men can make on a crowd that's used to having its own way. You're a good a taste for them than to lose them. Well, we better off than most of the missus and me. There's many never taste butcher's meat from one week to the next. That's when they work and leave alone now. There's people paying rent for houses so rotten they can. they can duck up out of their beds and count the stars be night. It's hard to think about with a beautiful country around you all the time. Well, back home is different. And everything's black. Black and grey. Houses, streets, countryside round about even. Ah, it takes the colour out of things, does that old coal? Well, the coal dust. Down the years. Something else altogether. In clay mountains, snow. I thought when I seen them first off. Yeah, and palm trees on the station. It's like fairyland, like, like, like a panto I saw when I was a nipper. Like painted colours. There's white and, and blue. Green and golden sunlight. It's wonderful. It takes your mind off the suffering. It does. Now, there's some art, that's for sure. I never know there's no summer like it, not for years. It is enjoyable, no denying. But unfortunately, it is bosses weather, same time, see? Dry pit never worried the masters. A bit of rain would give the lads some encouragement. It's hard to keep them solid with the weather against them, on top of everything else. We've well, got to stick together. That goes without saying. And the prime consideration of industrial action is solidarity on the part of the workers. Basic, that is. In a steel mill I was before I got accepted into the force. <laughs> this black legging will beat us in the end. Well, stick her to a dynamite will maybe speak sense. An argument won't convince.
When I got the chance of being accepted into the force, it was bad times we had. But Twelve shillings a week to take home, and that in a good week. Lay off short times, or three days, four days a week, you'd call yourself lucky. There was no orders, see? It was bad times in the industry. It's not a bad life, you know. Respected you are by the community at large. And then picked men we are. A special training. And that special training is expensive training. Well, physical training. Wrestling, anything you can mention. Boxing, all in. Oh, you wouldn't get better if you used to go to a college. Of course, there's an element. There's bound to be an element of... of, of troublemakers, isn't there? Yeah. He's one of the fags yours, will he? Well then, got enough now, have you? Yes. Well, I said I'd meet some of the boys down the pub. I'll see you later. He's a dumb bugger, that bunna, no mistake. Hello again, then. Evening. Uh, uh, would you like a glass or something, missus? Well, what about you, Mr. Stocker? A glass of beer? No, no thanks. Oh, come on now, change your mind. See what it's to be, a bottle of stout. Save your money, friend. Which all there for is in the side room. Anything we want. Spirits, too, whiskey, rum, anything. So you just say the word, I'll get you what you fancy. <laughs> Only, uh, we won't ask where it come from, will we? You see, there are certain people who want to keep on the right side of us, boys. <laughs> so why don't you join us? Hey, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> you having a drink on the bosses? <laughs> come on now, say what it's to be. <laughs> oh, nothing. Well, I tell you what I'll do. I, I'll bring a drop down home with me when I come. We'll all have a drink then. A drink and a smoke on the bosses. Mind it all. You'll be careful, Manuel. I'm always careful, my lover. I never know what you get up to. Oh, no. I believe we can go and own some arsehole. Blow the Employers' Federation open the street for a start. Then down to Carn Stents and slit the throat of a black leg or two. Then, if it's still dark, we'll likely raid the county headquarters and carry off the chief constable for hostage. You don't belong making jokes, Manuel Stalker. <laughs> you got a wife and kiddies to consider. What do you got that stick for? Uh, never know what some old rabbit might poke his nose out of edge. If you happen to have a helmet on his head, so much the worse for him. You proper amazed. Get on, then. No need to wait up. I shall. I shall sit there till you come home. And even please yourself.
Hallo. It's only me, Mrs. Well, come on in, then. I brought a bit of a drink for us. You first startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 was, I was just looking in. I, I, I bought some drink for us. Is the stocker's out? So I'll bid you good night, Mr. Griffith. Oh, how well, is he? Yes, Mr. Griffith. I'm not expected back to late. He's gone visiting with some relations. Herbert? Oh, no, my name. Herbert, my name is. <laughs> There's no need for Mr. and that. A friend, I am. Friend to the Cornish people. Oh, lovely race. Lovely people. Voices like birds, they sing like angels. It's like home to me to hear the singing. Carlo Nan and Flounder Yoni. What are you thinking of? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend, honest. I just got carried away by the singing. I didn't mean to offend, honest. I think you best get some sleep. Oh, come on now, missus. Please don't be angry. What I wanted to say was, meeting people like you, kindly people, generous people, how much that means to us, far from our homes and loved ones. But you and Mr. Stocker, oh, there's a character for you, that husband of yours. Oh, there's a deep one for you. Doesn't say much, mind, but he's deep, very deep. Do you know, Mrs., I envy that man. A very fortunate man he is. He's not blessed with, with worldly goods, but something above price he's got. Well, I, I'm not a married man myself. I'm not so fortunate. If you're trying to make up to me, mister, you're wasting your time. Make up to you? Well, now, why should I do that? Oh, there's no pretty words on my tongue. A plain man, I may speak out plain. It, it, it means a lot to me, the way you, you've taken us into your homes and, and, and are playing with the children, sitting in the comfort of your kitchen. What I'm trying to say is, thank you. That's what I'm trying to say. We ain't paid for it. No need for thanks. The best to eat. Toasted the boss's health once too often, you see me. Bloody fool I am. I'm sorry about the language. I don't know what I'm saying. There's the truth of it.
blasting. Uh, the pit. Blasting, that's what it was. Wheel Hope. They must be working down Wheel Hope. Black legs brought in be light. <laughs> Black legs, most like. It's getting late. I think I'll... I'll say goodnight to Mrs. You'll most likely be waiting up for Mr. Stalker. No. Oh, no, I shall go to bed too. He likely be back late, seeing as he's visiting my family. I'm well, I hear you've been taking the law into your own hands. I be. How many times do you need telling there's a right way and a wrong way of doing things? Yours is the wrong one. And you more talk. What are you trying to do? Make the strike or break it? <laughs> Mr. Vincent? I have asked you to come out here today because there is a matter which I feel bound to address you, which I do not think should be raised in God's meeting house. Last night, the homes of three clay workers were destroyed in an act of inexcusable violence. I know that these men were guilty of blacklegging. Do not think that I have any sympathy for men who betray their fellows. I do not... I do not sympathize. I do not sympathize, though I may well understand and forgive. But up till now, all our actions have been characterized by a most praiseworthy restraint. Throughout this long and bitter struggle, we have maintained ourselves as Christian men and women. You look on the site better fed than we and. Uh, no prospects is sight better than earth, isn't it? 